Girl Scouts empowers girls to make the world a better place. Through the Girl Scouts of Central Texas Women of Distinction Awards, we celebrate community leaders who display courage, confidence, and character as an example for all Girl Scouts. In this video, Girl Scout Ellie Yates interviews Woman of Distinction rising star honoree Bryn Myers. Girl Scouts of Central Texas would like to extend a special thank you to our sponsors, Stylecraft, Samson Austin Semiconductor, HEB, and Wells Fargo, who understand when you invest in girls, you change the world. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm part of the Girl Scout Press Corps journalism troupe. Um, I've done a few interviews before and I read a little bit about you, so I'm very excited to interview you and like get to know more about you. My name is Bryn Myers. I'm the city manager in Temple. I've been working for the city for 12 years and I worked for another city before that. Well, what do you think the value is of having someone to look up to or having someone to sort of mentor you along the way? I've been really fortunate in my um, my life and specifically in my career to have a lot of people who've invested in me have mentored me and, and helped me. The very first person that came to mind, I'll just talk about him, um, and that's my dad. He was probably my original role model, a huge champion for me. He was my biggest cheerleader. He made sure I knew that um, if there was something that I wanted to do, that I could do that, and he was gonna help me get there. I credit him with both being an amazing dad, role model, mentor, but he also inspired me to, to be what I am today. He's my top one. That's amazing. I think that's so important to teach girls from a young age that if they can see it, they can be it. And what do you think that brings to the community when you have women in those roles, you know, like it out there affecting change? I think that in any community or organization, if you really want to be the strongest and the best that you can be, your organization and your leadership team in your organization needs to reflect your whole community and your whole membership. That's going to make you the strongest. If you have diversity in voices, if you have people who are coming from different life experiences, different perspectives, who you invite to the table, and you get um, their input and their feedback. If you look around the room and everybody looks the same and has the same background, you're gonna get a certain outcome that isn't gonna be as rich and meaningful as if you invited in diverse perspectives. If your proverbial table you know, has everybody seated at it, has a, a wide representation, you're gonna come out as a stronger organization and a stronger community. What do you think, you know, the qualities of a leader are, or whatever a leader may mean to you. You don't become a leader because you get a certain title. There's a lot of people with fancy titles who, who aren't leaders, and there's a lot of people who don't have any title at all or any position at all who are fantastic leaders. So leadership is really about qualities outside of um, what position you hold. And I think that everyone um, can be a leader. Do you think that uh, girls, especially today, are taught to really embrace sort of those qualities of leadership? I think leadership is something that you can build. So whatever you, wherever you start out, you can, if you want to become a better leader, you can. These women who have come before us, and that's just a couple of generations ago, you know, they have really built a huge foundation and I just want to make sure that what I do leaves our world a better place for Preston, my daughter, for you, you know, for Preston's kids, so that we just keep making it better than it was before. You know, just your career and your life, how have you been able to sort of bring other women to the table and sort of invest in women and girls in the workplace as well? I want, just as, as, as people have invested in me, I want to make sure that um, I'm also, you know, I think the phrase sometimes is paying it forward, making sure that you're also um, investing in others. Sometimes I think as um, a young leader, you might can make an assumption that you don't have value to bring in mentoring someone or in, in investing them, and that's just not true. I really believe that leadership is not a position, it's not a title, it's really about influencing people, creating relationships with them and working to uh, create a positive influence in their life. So I think it's important we as, as girls have been invested in that we also turn back and make sure that we're investing in others. And that doesn't have to be 
just the younger generation. It can be your peers as well. So, which I think that um, the Girl Scouts is a is a really critical organization for peer support and peer development and make sure that we're we're really investing in each other and supporting each other in our journeys. The Girl Scouts of Central Texas Women of Distinction Interview Series is created and produced by Elder House Productions and made possible by generous donations from City of Temple, United Way of Central Texas Board of Directors, Wilson Art, and Linda Pelton. For more information of how Girl Scouts of Central Texas is empowering girls in the community, visit www.gsctx.org.